YouTube. I'm back with another video, man. And I know I've been doing a lot of build videos, but y'all seem to like these. Uh, I, I really like making them because it shows y'all different builds. Because everybody wants to make the meta build, this, that, and the other. But there's other builds out there you can use. So this is going to be one of them, the Sharp Facilitator. This is a great build. Remember, we're going to have Ruffles, uh, Basketball Guys, stuff like that this year. So we're going to need a shooter. We're going to need a knockdown shooter. Uh, we get a lot of defensive badges. Uh, we get a lot of shooting badges, obviously, a few playmaking. Uh, and yeah, that's what we're going to leave it at. We don't want to be finishing really on this build or anything like that. So, yeah, man, if you, you know, clicked on this video, you trying to make the sharp shooting facilitator. I got y'all, man. You know I make the best builds. If you watch any of my videos, man, you know I make the best builds in 2K. So, I got y'all with another good build. Um, it's a sniper. Doesn't miss. High three-pointer. Good defense. And yeah, you'll be surprised how I make this build probably, but... It's a good build, man. So make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe. Turn on post notifications. So you know when I upload a banger like this. When I go live on YouTube. So yeah, man. I got y'all with this build. If you hit that like button in the next five seconds, Ryan 2K is gonna take away all your players, man. I wouldn't risk it. School, probably cause I made more than my teachers. I ain't learned a single lesson. Come on, baby, I can teach you. Now my high fool, mama said I'm smoking too much reefer. Hit the plug and then I re up. Used to flip kicks up at recess. All right, man. So for this build, make him a point guard, make him left handed or right handed. Doesn't matter. Number doesn't matter. For the pie chart, we want to go pure sharp, which is the mostly green. We want to go speed, obviously. Uh, for the finishing, for the close shot, we want to max that out. Driving layup, we want to get to a 55. Driving dunk, we want to go 40. Uh, for the mid-range, obviously max that out. Three-pointer, max that out. And free throw, max that out. Uh, we get 28 shooting badges, which is a ton. Playmaking, max that out. Uh, max that out. And go your post moves until you get 12 playmaking badges. So 40 post moves. And now for the defense max the main things out and then put the rest towards block so you should get nine defensive badges so we're gonna have one 28 12 and nine which is 50 badge points it's a lot of badge points on a primary sharp build this is a pure sharp build so yeah it's a lot of badges for the body shape i would go solid make them six five six six if you would like up to you but i say go six five because of what we're gonna do with the wingspan. Weight, obviously the lowest uh, for the wingspan. We wanna max that out, no hesitation. That's the first thing I did. I didn't wanna go minimum. Three-pointer can't even go up anymore. So we wanna max that out, man. We still at 99, get a 97 three-pointer. Uh, obviously when we're in takeover, it takes nothing for us to have a 99 three. So if we're gonna bring shooting and a little bit of playmaking, we at least wanna bring some defense, so. We don't really care about finishing. We're sharp. We're not going to the paint unless it's to shoot a close shot, which bonus. It gets a plus three when you max out your wingspan. If you drop your wingspan, your close shot goes down. Crazy. So, yeah, we get a plus three to our close shot so we can shoot those glitchy close shots before they patch them. So we get an 86 close shot. That is a 90 close shot. Hear me out. A 90 close shot at 99. So, yeah, we want that. We get the plus three towards our steal plus three to block, plus two to offensive rebounder, plus three to defensive rebounder. Our perimeter and our lateral go up one. So yeah, we got the max wing span. Obviously for the takeover, we wanna pick sharp. Um, and yeah, we get the sharp shooting facilitator, man. This is a crazy build. Show y'all is good on defense. So we got a good defensive build. And we got a good shooting build with a little bit of playmaking. We still get enough playmaking badges to help out our guard or whoever we're playing with. Um, and we got a ton of shooting, obviously, so we don't really care about the finishing. Uh, but I'll get into the badges for y'all, show y'all which badges I, I would run because with a lot of the shooting badges, they kind of changed them. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make this build glitchy from what I've been experiencing with the shooting and how they've kind of changed the badges this year. All right, so honestly, I mean, we know what to put for the, the one finishing consistent. I'm going to do the shooting last. Uh, for the simple reason, I'm going to do a lot of explaining with the shooting. Those are the defensive badges I would run. Intimidator works on the perimeter. That's another thing they change. When you jump, I've noticed when I have Intimidator and a player shoots with that meter, when I jump, 
the meter gets smaller, meaning that they have a harder time of greening that shot. So I'm sure it's the same thing with no meter. It's a harder, ch you have a harder chance to green when somebody has Intimidator on. So Intimidator is key. And the way to counter that, I believe, is Deadeye. So we're gonna get into that after I show all these playmaking badges. Uh, personally, go handles for days, quick first step. Bell out bronze, needle threader. Just the typical, typical uh, playmaking badges. If you wanna go for a general step, up to you. It's typical playmaking badges, not for the shooting because we are pretty sharp and that's what we made this build for. We don't really care about the other stuff. We're here for the shooting. First thing we wanna do, Rangers to the Hall of Fame. Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame. Green Machine Hall of Fame. If we're gonna be shooting the ball a lot, bottom shooter Hall of Fame. So we have 12 badges left. I tell you, Tyler Shooter is good. Uh, it helps you when you're, you know, blinking, obviously. And I believe it helps you when that little bar at the bottom when your dribbling turns yellow. So I will put that on gold for now. What I was talking about earlier with the Intimidator, I believe Dead Eye counters Intimidator, if I'm not mistaken. Gold or Hall of Fame Dead Eye is the best to put it on because I feel like that counters Intimidator. Most people are gonna have Intimidator on Gold or Hall of Fame, possibly Silver, but your badge is either gonna be the same or higher if you have it on Gold Hall of Fame. So yeah, I showed you what Intimidator does and I'm gonna show you what Dead Eye does. Jump shots taken when a defender closes and I receive less of a penalty from a shot contest. That includes both mid ranges and three point shots. So, intimidator, like I told you, when somebody jumps, when somebody's running at me trying to contest, this is not for you shooting in front of somebody. This is if you do a move, you get open, and somebody jumps at you or is running at you. Dead Eye will kick in. So, intimidator kicks in that way also. So, I'm telling y'all to put Dead Eye on Hall of Fame or Gold. It's up to y'all. I will put, just put it on Hall of Fame, you're pure sharp. Next, flexible release. Shot timing penalties for jump shots are reduced, making it easier to knock down attempts even when releasing early or late. I am telling y'all, last year it probably was like actual earlies and actual lates. This year it is slightly earlies and slightly late. I'm 100% positive because it pops up and it helps you make whites. So, go to Hall of Fame. For my last two badges, I would throw on Clutch Shooter because that's a good badge. I'll maybe throw on Hot Start, that's also a good badge. Or Catch and Shoot Silver, it's also a good badge. Difficult Shots, you don't need it. You have a 93 mid range, so you have a 90, what, 7 and 99. You don't really need that. Uh, so personally, I will go Clutch Shooter Silver. I believe that's a glitchy badge. So if you're in the part, put it on. If you're not in the part, put on like, I don't know. Maybe just up this and then up this and then just run a bunch of Hall of Fame. Up to you. I'm just going to act like we're in the park for this build with it and I'm going to go collect Shooter Silver. So I'm going to share all these badges one more time. These are the most important ones. Obviously, we're pretty sharp. Playmaking is probably second most important. And then the defense is the third most. And yeah, that's really it for the badges, man. I want to just, you know, go into detail and show y'all which badges to run and why because I'm noticing they're changing them consistently, even though they're putting them, you know, in the game one year and then they're putting it in the game the next year and then they're putting it in the next year. But they're kind of changing how the badges work year in and year out. So, yeah, man, that's really it for this build. I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all turn on post notifications. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all share the video. Do everything, man. All of it helps. I appreciate all of the support. Once again, it has been going crazy. All because of y'all, not because of me. I'm just making the videos for y'all. And yeah, keep doing what y'all are doing. It's very motivating. And it keeps me, you know, grinding. It keeps me going. So I appreciate it, man. I'm out.